and welcome back to my channel. My name is Karin Odermatt and today we are going to look at the roll. It's kind of a stomach roll but the difference is that you are manipulating with the hands. So the normal barrel roll which goes around the bottom bar, you have your elbows and you kind of just move your legs. This one is a little bit simpler because you use your hands to manipulate it. So this is kind of a small difference. But before we start, make sure you subscribe to my channel. It really does help a lot if you press that button. If you like what you see, give me a thumb up and yeah, leave a comment below. It's always nice to hear from you. I love hearing your questions and I love hearing what you are thinking. So just drop a comment below. Let's go to the move. That move is a little bit on the side. So you decide which side you are going to choose of the hoop. I will choose this part because I'm going to have that hand on top. So if you would have this hand on top, your left hand, you would be on the left side of the hoop. You have your right hand on top. You keep your hand, your right hand, a little bit on your right side. My other hand is going to grab here about mid hoop. The thing which you have to think about is that the hand which is at the bottom, my left hand is palms on top of the hoop, thumb around, like grabbing like this. The hand which is on top is going to grab palm around, thumb up as well. So you have the hands kind of like this. This is your position. It's not like thumbs towards each other. So this is the grip. Here it would be the same in that direction. Thumbs up both times towards the side you are going. So this is the first thing. I would also recommend that you are uh, working on the pullover mount because that's definitely something you need. First of all to mount or you start on top of the bar but also it does help to have this kind of core strength to attempt this role. So let's start. Hands here in position. You need to have them as much apart, of course, that you can place your hip on it, that you have space for your body and maybe slightly more. So first thing is I'm going to go on the bar with my over the front because I'm going to do the backwards roll. So like this, getting your legs up on the side so now what's going to happen is that this hand is going to try, you try to go a little bit around. From here, you turn your hand a little bit backwards because you are going to go around. I would prefer to do it with a little bit temp. So you have the hand here, you're lying on the side and you're going to tuck your legs really close. You try to stay around the bar. When your body goes down, your legs go up and that makes you get around. One thing more you should think about is that you have your hip placed on the hoop. So I'm below my hip bones. I'm not on the soft part of my stomach. I am placed between my hip bones, somewhere two centimeters below them. This you have to find a little bit where your point of balance is. And this is definitely a move you have to do with temp. It's much easier. So learn the positioning, lift your legs a bit for a temp and then go for it. Also make sure you have strong arms. Keep them as bent as possible because your body is going to go down. You have to keep it as close as possible to the bar the entire time in order to come around. Your knees have to pike up everything you have around the bar. That's how you get around. So let me show, show it you one more time. Personally, I think it's easier to come from down here because it already gives you a little bit speed and your body naturally goes around and you just continue the movement. This hand is more holding you. So this one is more pulling. This one is a little bit more turning. Let's look at it one more time. So hand positioning, make sure you are about a hip width apart and then you go. And there you are. So once you go for it, try to go for it and um, just work it. It's a lot of piking, a lot of working. The hands are there to help. Make sure you have strong shoulders. Otherwise, I wouldn't recommend to attempt it. Maybe start with one roll and once they feel better, you can add several at it. This is already the entire move. I really hope you have fun with it. I love rolls. You know that by now. So here is another one. Give it a try. Tag me with your try of it. My name is Karin Odermatt, coach on Instagram. And thanks again for watching. Thanks for being here. I'm really happy that you watch every week. See you next Wednesday for a new tutorial. Bye.